Case number 24-11313. Today's date is February 27, 2024. The time is 1916 hours. We're in Kissimmee speaking with Stefan Stearns. Okay, so we just... I know that you already spoke to the other detective, right? About everything that kind of happened today. If you can just kind of go over it with us one more time. The timeline from like when you guys woke up and took her to school and all that. <sighs> So we woke up early. Um, the plan was that we were going to get McDonald's breakfast on the way. So we made amazingly good time. I, getting I don't out mean to interrupt door. you, okay? Um, neither of us were here yesterday, so if you can be kind of like specific about like times and and stuff okay. like that, okay? Um, woke up around seven, seven fifteen, somewhere around there, um, which is an early start for us. But she, had, we had talked about getting McDonald's breakfast beforehand, so we wanted to make good time. Um, we did make good time. We got out the door maybe 7.30ish, 7.45ish, maybe. Uh, got over to that area. She was asleep in the car most of the time, just snoozing until we got there. We got to McDonald's. We're close to McDonald's. I said, you still want it? She wasn't interested in the McDonald's anymore, so we continued on. And uh, she wanted to be dropped off a little down the ways from the school. She's got this phase that she's been into lately where she's very particular about what car she's seen getting out of in front of the school. Um, she prefers her mom's car, but my cars are, I guess, kind of hoopties. Um, I get it. It's an image thing. But um, that was sometime probably between 8.20 and 8.40-ish, somewhere in there. It was along the stretch of the road that um, on the right side that has all the communities on it mm -hmm. before you get to the overpass. We could see the overpass from where it was. Mm -hmm. um, so it was on that side on that stretch of road. And that's where I dropped her off. And she said she was going to go wait for her friends. She was going to go find them and hang out and wait for her friends. And I asked if that was going to be okay. She said, yeah, it's fine. Um, kids get dropped off early enough as it is. It's not totally unusual for that to happen. It's just not usually that early that I drop her off. I mm -hmm. do school runs every once in a while for her. Um, I said, okay. Let her out. Have a good day. Love you. Thanks. Love you too. And I turned around and was driving away and was watching her in my rearview mirror to make sure that she was going where she was to go. And she was moving in that direction, but she was rummaging around in her backpack or something. What I assumed was probably headphones or something like that, but find out later that she forgot her phone here so she may have been rummaging for her phone um, but she was still kind of making her way towards towards that direction so it looked okay it looked like any other day and I just continued on okay when you said you dropped her off like in the area kind of like where exactly did you drop her off so if you pull down the street going towards the school mm -hmm. um, you've got that whole strip of communities on the right side there mm -hmm. it was in that stretch of sidewalk there we pulled in and maybe maybe about halfway up the street or so and she was like right here's good was it like in one of the apartment complexes the church Not in it was outside one of the apartment it was just on the sidewalk on That's the side of the road there no. just like a tuck and roll you know okay so like if i were to be on the road where with the maps like the what do you remember seeing that you dropped her off at i remember the the overpass is up ahead. Mm -hmm. um, the sidewalk was on the right. Row of trees. There's, I think, a median in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was another community, maybe across from that, before you get to the church. Mm -hmm. So it was like before the church. So Town Loop Boulevard's that street that connects to the school. Yeah. Is that, is that the, the street that you... Is this, which one? So that's Town Loop Boulevard, right? Town that's Loop, the one yes. that... And where's the school located here? The school's right here. The school's right there. Okay, so the school would be on the left in this case. Here's the overpass so you can, you I was talking about. Side? Yeah, we okay. came from Town Loop, I think. Mm -hmm. which Town Center, yeah. So we made a right here and then pulled somewhere... Somewhere about... So you came from Town Center and turned onto Town Loop. Yeah, where's, where's the church? Is this the church here? Uh, there I is a, Yeah, so, that's yeah. the church. Okay, yeah. so we weren't up to the church yet. So we were pulled on here, and then we pulled maybe about halfway up here, and I dropped her off somewhere in this, this area here. 
And she walked from there to the school? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty she, long way. It's maybe a block or so, but it's not out of the ordinary for her. She likes to do that sometimes. She likes the cold weather. She was wearing her hoodie. She uh -huh. likes the cold walk. So you dropped her off near Lilac? Does mm -hmm. that sound right? Yeah, it wasn't at a cross street. It was just at just a bit of the sidewalk there. So did you merge into the sidewalk, or did you stop in the middle of the street? or I just pulled over to the sidewalk there and let her hop out. How often do you drop her off? This might be the fifth or sixth time I've ever done it. Okay, and when you drop her off, where do you normally drop her off at? Um, normally down the street from the school. She requests that a lot. Like the it, same it, area or somewhere especially else? Especially if it's sometimes in the church parking lot. Sometimes just wherever she tells us to let her out. Um, as long as it's close, you know. So it was halfway between Town Loop and, uh, and Town Center and the church? Yeah, it was like, it's just in this stretch right here. Like we got about maybe halfway up and okay. it was there. The McDonald's that you guys were going to stop at, did you pull into the plaza at any point? No, she... 86 the idea before we even got there. What, what do you mean by 86? Uh, poo pooed the idea, didn't want it anymore. Okay. Wasn't in the mood anymore. At any point while you were driving to the school, did you make a U turn? Uh, yeah, I tried to sell her on McDonald's one more time because I was still kind of hungry, but at that point she was also just wanting to get to school. Okay. So where? We turned right back around. Where did you make that U turn at? Uh, actually, the school park, uh, not the school parking lot, the church parking lot. Uh, I pulled into that, turned around and pulled back out. Um, did a UE there and went back to the McDonald's. And she still wasn't having it. And that's when we came back. See, the McDonald's is on the same town loop or town center. It connects to the same road that the, mm -hmm. that the, that the school is on. on. Yeah, so, so it's loop. like a straight shot. So you guys came from, just so I can kind of get a good vi visualization, Town Center and mm -hmm. what, what? where did you come from, Town Center? Uh, town Center, so where, where's the McDonald's? Um, I'm so bad at reading these, I'm sorry. Um, so we, we this came... This is all Town Center. So we came across uh, on Town Loop, I believe. Is, is that the school that... Is that the road that the school is on? No, this is Town Center. Okay. So you said you were on Town Center, and then you made a right on Town Loop, which yeah. is the one that takes you to the school. Yes, correct. Right? I think you passed it. But, but what, what I'm saying is before Town Loop, uh, or I'm sorry, for Town Center, what, what street did you take? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm bad with the streets around here. How, how do you usually get to the school? Uh, oh, I just take John Young and then wait till I see the McDonald's and make a left there and then follow that around and that goes straight into the, the road that the school is on. I just use, use the landmarks and I don't, I don't memorize the street names. Is that JYP? So this is JYP. I mean, at the McDonald's, you turn right. And then you said you made it left at the McDonald's. So yeah, that's so Jungyeon Park, Park where you're going north on Jungyeon. McDonald's, Jung. and then go around, and then that shoots straight into the road that she's on. Okay. Because that's. I believe that's the correct road. Yeah. Well, that's the fastest way to get there, mm -hmm. but. You told me you came from Town Center and Town Loop. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know the street names. Okay. I'm sorry, so I'm doing my no, best. That's okay. So now that we know that you came from Jung Young Parkway and you made a left on Town Loop, mm -hmm. so you passed the so, McDonald's. Yeah, that was when she said no to McDonald's the first time. Okay. So you guys keep on going on Town Loop. Yeah. But at that point, we still had a lot of time to kill. I'm very early. So what did you guys do? Um, drove towards the school, made a U-turn, came back, tried to do the McDonald's thing again. She didn't want it. So I, where did you, I, one I more did time, where her, did you do the the U-turn at? Uh, it, it probably was right by the church because it was still way too early for school. 
So it was on that stretch of road. I mean, they had the meeting there and the separation, so they, that left turn where the church is, um, you can make a U-turn there. And then after you dropped her off, what did you do? Uh, stayed, talked to her for a minute, told, made sure, you know, is it, is it all right that you're going early? Because it was, it was still early. Mm -hmm. um, she said, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to hang out and wait for my friends to get there, which she does sometimes. So it didn't, didn't sound, you know, outrageous or anything. Um, that was it. Told her to have a good day. I loved her. She told me she loved me too. I turned around to leave and I was watching her in my rearview mirror. And she looked like she was walking in the right direction. She was rummaging in her bag a little bit, like I said, but still sort of just shambling in the right direction while she was doing it. Um, so it looked, it looked normal, it looked okay. Okay, and then what did you do after you left the area? Uh, I left to go to the local vape shop because I needed some more vape juice. Um, they weren't quite open yet, so I ended up going back home. Waited about an hour or so, and then went back and checked the vape shop again. Uh, it was open, so I got what I needed there, and uh, came back. Do you remember what time you came home? The first time was probably right around 10, close to it. And then I waited here and went back to the vape shop, um, probably finished at the vape shop and came back home again a little after 11. Okay. You said the first time that you hung out was a little bit, right? Yeah. Was there when you got here at yes. 10? Okay. I think so. She might have been at her blood appointment. Let me double check. I know she, was at, she had a blood appointment at some point during the day. Uh, it's okay. We don't have to ask her right now. Sorry. Everything's a blur. So she might have been here, she might have not have been here I the first time. I believe she was here because she she was sleeping in as much as she possibly could because she's been messed up with a new work schedule. So she had to be here because she didn't want to sleep in. Okay. I'll double check, but yeah, I, I believe she was here. And then what time did you say you left again to the smoke shop? Uh, maybe after an hour or so, maybe 11 or so. Okay. And then what time did you get to the smoke shop? Um, it's maybe 10 minutes away, so not long after that, I stopped in and got some juice. And What's the name of the smoke shop? Uh, East Milk Road Okay. It's just over off of John Young. It's not far from the school. And then after the smoke shop, what did you do? Came home again. Yeah. Okay, for how long? Um, at least until maybe 12.30. 45 ish, something like that. Um, and then what'd you do after that? Uh, I had a couple errands to run over on 192. Um, she was talking about making a BJ shopping list. Um, she just wanted to make sure I was back in time for us to both go pick up. Um, so I was visiting some card shops around the area on 192. Um, I'm kind of a nerd, so we had a new trading card game release, and I was seeing what the situation was with it. Do you remember what places you visited? Uh, yeah, Coliseum of Comics. Um, stopped by a couple targets, and I was going to go to House Rules Games down by Oak and 192, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't make it that far. I got a flat tire on the way. Do you remember where you got your flat tire? It was on 192. I pulled in over into one of those plazas somewhere. It's been about 10 years since I switched out a tire, though, so I made a lot of rookie mistakes and ended up pinning my thumb between the frame and the, oh, the no. jack. Yeah, I'm lucky it's not a lot worse than it could have been. Do you remember the name out. of the plaza by any chance? I don't. Do you remember, so, like, what stores were it, it was? Plaza? It was, like, right before you got to Oak, though, so it was one of those little strips. Okay. Uh, and then but I did not that? make it back in time uh, because of that. I thankfully had the spare. I put that on and tried to get back in time, but caught every red light on the way. And she ended up leaving to pick up Maddie without me. Uh, I was about 10 minutes late on it. So I called her and let her know what happened. I apologized profusely because I had promised I'd be there with her to go pick her up.
just sat and waited. And after that, she had already gone to get her, so I just sat and waited and hung out, straightened up the house a little bit. And that was it. Then we got the call. What do you mean you got the call? We got the call from her that had not come out. So we started getting worried. Started making the calls to her family, be on the lookout, she might be walking to you. That's just when everything sort of started going down here. I won. Was it? Did you check on the map the, the southbound? The, the, the green bar? I'm not sure where Green Bill is. I noticed, I'm sorry, um, that she forgot her phone, right? Is it normal for her to not have her phone? Unfortunately, she's severely ADHD, as am I and her mother. Mm -hmm. um, so it is not uncommon at all, and in fact, very, very usual thing for her to forget things. She'd forget her head if it wasn't screwed on. Either. Uh, we're forgetful about, you know, writing her about that point. We'll remind her, and then it will leave our mind, and she'll say, okay, and then it will leave her mind. And, and is she on medication for this stuff? Normally, yes. Um, she's been staying with her grandparents a lot this week while her mom was working. Uh -huh. um, so she has not been getting her meds a whole lot. Okay. So she was really spaced. Where is mom working at? What changed in her hours that she needs all this thing? She's training, so it's not a set schedule yet. Okay. It's just early this day, late closing training this so day. So different hours. Yeah, no, that takes a toll. So I came up here. She needed help. Um, I split my time between two and two places. I needed a visit. We all needed to be a little happier together. So. This is a great thing. Enjoy my pain. Just tell me. And where's the McDonald's? Right. So that doesn't make sense. Right? Because the school's up here? Am I messing up the streets again? Yeah, tell me. This one's town center, but town loop. We're just trying to figure out your direction of travel, right? I'm, I'm so sorry. These, I'm so bad with that area over there, Hunters Creek. You said you made a U-turn mm -hmm. at the church to go see if she wanted McDonald's again, correct? Yes. yes. Did you go anywhere else? Because I know you said you had time to kill. Yeah. Did you guys go anywhere else? No, we didn't go anywhere else. Is there a reason why you would be back on John Young Parkway? Uh, when we tried to go back to McDonald's a second time, um, we would have made a left over there instead and just looped around again. What do you mean? Just ma made a circle. Made a circle house. Can you show me on the map? Um, so, so this going, is the McDonald's going back right down here, to right? McDonald's. That's the McDonald's right there. Correct. Uh, so going back down and then just straight shot back down. You again. would come down this way? I, I can't move that. I'm so sorry. Yep, I'll go. Where's the McDonald's? So McDonald's is right here. This is Town Loop. So okay. this is Jong Young Parkway. Jong -Yong, you guys are coming okay, up. This is McDonald's. Yep. And the school's on this corner. Correct. Over somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. So we come back out here, there, and then we can take a straight shot back down to the school again there. They, they connect. Town Loop and Town Center connect. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's So where did you make the U-turn? The U the U turn was was on the street when we were going to go back to McDonald's, and then we drove down the McDonald's here. All right, so so, just so I don't get confused, you're going up Jung Young Parkway, right? You're going northbound. Originally, yes. Right. You make a left, make a left at the left McDonald's. Here, go towards the school. Okay. How far did you get uh, before you made the U turn? So you got. Is this is this the school right here? Yep, that's town uh, town loop. So we got up to here and then made a U turn over here. Past the median. Okay. So. And back to McDonald's. On Lincoln Town Loop. Still, still time to kill. 
she still didn't want the McDonald's, but I did give her a raspberry and cheese Danish. So did you go through the drive-thru? Did you no. go inside? No, didn't go inside. She Where just... did you get the Danish from? Oh, I, the Antonin's that I brought from home. I gave her a couple of those put in the car. Okay. So she wasn't without food totally. So we just continued past it again and turned around and said, screw it, you know, just drop you off early. Okay, so you came back around to the McDonald's. Mm. And then right onto the school road. What's, pss, pss, is that back on uh, John Young Parkway? Yeah, or? back on the John Young Parkway. It comes down here. Mm-hmm. And then here's Town Center again. So then you took Town Center yes. the second time around? Yes, and then made it right down to the school. Do you okay. remember what time you dropped her off? Uh, I estimated it to be sometime between 8.20, 8.40. Are you, um, on your phone, do you have um, Google Maps? I do, but I wasn't mapsing it. When you're giving her rights, does she sit in the front or the back? She sits in the front. She likes to sit. Do you mind if I look at your maps real quick? And just to confirm, also, you said so the second time around, you said you went up uh, John Young Parkway, you went through Town Center this time, mm-hmm. made a right on Town Loop, yeah. and then you said you and dropped it was off right here in this stretch here yeah. around this area, okay, which was before the underpass, correct? Before okay. the underpass, just before the church, uh, the church was ahead on the left, the underpass was just beyond that, the school was just on the other side of the underpass, so maybe okay, maybe, on the left hand side, maybe a block away, okay. And you said that that's typical of her to walk that distance? Yeah, she likes the morning walks when it's cool. Um, she doesn't like getting being seen getting out of certain cars. Um, you know, being a middle schooler, it's an image thing. Um, and she will sometimes like to hang out and wait for her friends. She's, she's known to do that. Okay. <sighs> do you mind if I just take a picture of your history? Yeah, that's fine. And that time would have been, you said around 8... 8.20ish, 8.30s, sometime between 8.20 and 8.40. What time does she go into class? Uh, she has to be there no later than 9.15, doors open at 8. I okay. mean, and, and doors open at 9, I think. And, and then school officially starts around 9.20 or 9.28, I think. Okay. Oops, I got up. And when you dropped her off, is that... Earlier than typical, later than typical, around the same Earlier time? Earlier than typical. Really? We had made really good time that morning, and with the subtraction of McDonald's, uh, we had more time than, than usual. Okay. And she said it was okay. She was very confident, convincing that it would be fine. And you saw what direction she walked to after you dropped her? Yeah, it looked like she was moving towards the direction of the school like she was supposed to. Was she still on the right side of the road, or did she cross over? She was over? going on left, or yeah, she was still on the right side. What kind of phone is this? Uh, S23 Ultra, I think. I don't know how to work this thing. I'm sorry, I barely know how to work it myself. I'm an iPhone person. No. Uh, is it okay if I go in your settings real quick? I just want to see if you're logged on to your Google. I am not logged on to my Google with that, actually. Is it okay if I check? Yeah. Does she have any other devices besides that phone? Any other electronics? She had her school laptop with her. Okay. Is that is that uh, still supposed to be with her? Still supposed to be with her, yes. Okay. And what kind of book bag does she carry? Uh, black book bag with like gray, gray, grayish blue hibiscus flowers on it, like a print. When she leaves in the mornings, does she, where does she usually put her phone? Um, either in her backpack or like her back pocket, um, kind of wherever she just thinks to, to put it at the time. Hold on, I don't know how to use this phone. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I don't know, you've probably been asked already, but she's never ran away or been away for longer than a certain period of time, uh, amount of time. Like no, she's very dependent. 
gentleman, so I don't think she'd know what to do if she did run away. She's not the type. She's a good kid. Besides the ADHD, is she diagnosed with anything else? Uh, yeah, um, she was tested a while back and had some symptoms of autism, so she's potentially on the spectrum there. Okay. She was officially diagnosed with it when she was younger, and then she was retested and said, well, she shows symptoms of being on the spectrum, but maybe not full-on autistic. Is this what you use to um, go places? Yes. Go places, search addresses, look at store hours. reviews. It's a pretty new phone though. Have we had any updates? Uh, we literally have like 50 people right now on scene looking. I don't know if there's any updates. The best person would be the other detective because he's, um, he's the one that is in charge of all this. I think I've eaten anything since yesterday. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are worried. When did you come back to help, um, Pretty? Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Like, because you live down south, right? Mm -hmm. When did you come back up north to help her? Um, I just got here this weekend. Do you remember what day it was? Sunday was her birthday party, so yeah, it was it was the evening after her birthday party, Sunday. Okay. Do you remember what time you got here on Sunday? Mm, eight eight thirty ish, maybe. Okay. Just in time to make sure that she was doing all her nighttime routines. I'm waiting for her mom to get home. You live in North Pole, right? Yeah, I split my time between the two. Is that places. on Snug Street? Snug Street, okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. You have a lot of Snug Street on here. Yeah, I split my time between the two. Is that Broward County or? Uh, Sarasota, Sarasota County, Sarasota. I believe, okay. or Charlotte County, either Charlotte. way. Gotcha. Um, it's my parents' house. They, they're old and they need help these days, and they got a house full of poodles. and yeah. It's chaos. So I needed to come back up here and just get away from that. Between two deaf old people yelling at each other and poodles yapping all the time, it's enough to drive anyone up a wall. I'm just very happy to be back here. Did you and your wife, when you guys were looking for, the, where did you guys look? Me and her stayed local. It was all the rest of the family that mobilized and was, was beating the bushes. And, and Did you guys drive together or separate? Uh, I don't think we drove anywhere when we were looking. You didn't drive anywhere? I, not that I recall. Did you guys go anywhere last night? Was that media? Maybe. I think Fox 35 or something. Yeah, let me, if it is, let me tell him to take it out. Okay.
Uh, I don't recall. You have to ask her if we went anywhere. I don't recall. I was so zonked out on Ativan at that point. Okay. She said it was a wreck. Uh, I don't. And this would have been when? Uh, I don't recall us going anywhere last night, but I, honestly, at that point, my brain was mush, and I was on so many tranquilizers to keep me stable. I was just... You said Ativan? Yeah. Yeah, Do you usually take that? or? Yeah, I have a prescription. I haven't needed it in a long time, though. But um, What's that for? Uh, anxiety. Okay. I was having these rolling panic attacks and breaking down crying, and I just... Oh, hey, God, oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Here you go. And um, it was the only way I could get to sleep last night. this afternoon. That's why I missed your calls. I'm sorry. I so took an out of van and conked out for a few minutes. It's the only time when I'm not crying. <laughs> it's okay if I just pop down real quick. Yeah. So we're trying to get just a good idea, times, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm giving my best recollections. I'm not a morning person as it is. So a lot of the times are best guess. Uh, but we know that you go up Jongyang Parkway. Down, that's the, yes. the road you usually take um, yeah. to take her. And then you make a left at that McDonald's, right, which is the yeah. town loop. You can make a left to get there either at the McDonald's or at Town Center itself. They both lead to the school. So if you leave her at, just so you get a sense of direction, Jongyang Parkway goes northbound and mm-hmm. southbound. So you're going northbound mm-hmm. into Orange County, making a left at the McDonald's, which is the town loop. You said when you did drop her off, at that medium, you said it was around 8.20, 8.30-ish, somewhere around Some, that time? Somewhere in there, yeah. It was, okay. it was early, but not, like, outrageously early, you know? So what would you estimate when you made a left at the McDonald's to be? Uh, after I dropped her off? No, I'm saying when... When you dropped her off. Oh, um... First left by that McDonald's. Yeah, when you first go, you th- that first left that you make at the McDonald's. It had to have been around maybe eight, eight, maybe quarter after eight, sometime in there. Okay. Sometime between eight and a quarter after, I think. All right. So just so it's, uh, you can kind of picture it here on the map. So you're going northbound. You yeah. make a left here around like 8, 10, 8, 15. Let's say 8, 15, around there. When you get over here, she change your. you make a U-turn. You go back to the McDonald's. But you said that she still doesn't want the McDonald's. Still doesn't want it. She was just going to eat the Danishes that I had given her. So you're going up here now, still northbound on Jong Young Parkway. Mm-hmm. You make a left at the town center yeah. this time town center then make then a make right, right onto mm-hmm. yes and the then you drop road. her off and around like dropped eight. her off around halfway up the road there okay. uh, so keep in mind all of this is still northbound okay right you're still northbound on Jung Young Parkway northbound. so why is your car seen going southbound at 810 at I'll show you what location it is McDonald's is over here. Mm -hmm. At 810, your car is seen going southbound at this intersection. So meaning going toward Kissimmee. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten something. I had forgotten my gate clicker. I'm sorry. I forgot I had gone back to the house real quick after we left. um, Because I forgot my gate clicker. 
Um, I actually had to go through the front gate and use my parking pass uh, to grab my clicker. So it was the wrong time. I'm, I'm sorry. I, like I said, I was guesstimating these times. I'm not a morning person. Okay. So yes, um, we'd gone out. How far did you get before you came back down? That uh, when you realized you forgot your clicker. Nearly all the way, nearly all the way to the school. Um, and then we turned around. We had plenty of time to kill, so it was time to go back. I rushed back got the clicker and that's when I came back here this so way. So you guys came back here to get your clicker? Correct. So when we look at the cameras in the front it's going to show you coming back in Correct. here it with was, her in the yes, car? Yes, with her in the passenger seat, okay. yes. I know it sounds like we're asking you stupid questions, okay? We no, just want to verify okay. I'm, the I'm times. I'm sorry I'm not being more help. I'm not a morning person. I was half asleep as it was. I'm trying. The clicker's to get to get where? To, in, into our neighborhood. Okay, and you you forgot the clicker where? Uh, I had forgotten the clicker here. So how how did you get in? Uh, I was able to use my parking sticker for them to scan to let me through. Okay, so could you not have done that after you dropped her off? I could have, but I also like to come back in from the back gate a lot of the times, and I didn't know if I would be back right away. Um, and sometimes they're busy up front, so it's better not to wait in the line. Is, uh, what, what time is security usually there at the front gate? They were there when I came through. He scanned my ticket. So would it have not just made more sense to drop her off and come back since security is already there? I don't know if it made more sense. It's just what I did. that we haven't asked that you feel is important maybe that might help us out I'm, I'm sorry I'm having trouble recollecting everything uh, I'm going to step away for a second mm -hmm. anything that you remember maybe she might have told you she didn't mention anything in particular I made a joke about her crocs she wears crocs and socks. So we were joking about that. Would she say she's usually like a happy, go, you know, very, go lucky girl? Very or? happy. She brings a lot of joy. She's a very good girl. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. She was so happy too. She was looking forward to my visit here. She was looking forward to us all being together. She was just happy. She was just very happy. Oh, wow. I loved her like she was my own. And it's just, it's, is she the only child or does she yeah. have siblings? She's, she's a, she is the only child, yes. Do you have any kids with anyone else? Or? No. no. So no. she's kind of... Is what we call me. So you guys, you'd say you guys have a good, pretty good relationship. Yeah, definitely have a very strong bond. Just dating. But, you know, I'm, I'm the person she goes to when her mom gets in a fight with her and she needs someone to comfort her. And, mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm that person for her, you know. How's her relationship with mom? Good, most of the time. You know, puberty not long ago, so she's getting the PMS mood swings, and when mm -hmm. her mom gets them too, you know, they butt heads, and so. As well as you can expect, but otherwise, very loving. Very loving. Yeah. This girl knows nothing but love here in this house. She hardly ever hears the word no. Double edged sword, that is. How is she in school? So so. She's so so in school. Like grade wise? She's, she's or doing a lot wise? better though. Apparently, she just made student of the week. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So we're very proud of her. She's doing singing, choir, and she's sounding just amazing. She sang for me last night, and I immediately wanted to show her the movie Sister Act mm -hmm. because, because of the choir singing. It was so pretty. It reminded me. I told her I was very proud of her. 
Does she have, um, does she like video games, anything like that? She does know? like video games, yeah. Um, she plays Roblox, Minecraft. I think those are the two big ones that I know of. You don't know if her to like ever have any friends on there that she talks to, anything she like does, that? She does, she does group chats. She does like voice, voice chatting too mm -hmm. on it. Usually with like her cousins or her friends, uh, and they'll all be playing Roblox or something, and, you know, yelling at each other on the phone. Um, When's the last time you all lived together? Mm, December. December. Okay. December. And yeah. you said the reason was for your, your parents down there? Yeah, going down to help them because they're getting on in age and they're making their end of life plans and they need someone to help out. Can you unlock this one more time? Please? Sure. Um, I have a question. Yes. Sorry, are you guys done? No, we're good. Um, the other detective mentioned that you did not have your phone yesterday? Correct. Tell me about that. I left my phone at home in the morning too. I was so busy riding herd over to get us out the door on time that I left my phone. She left her phone. Okay. We both left our phones. Did you have your phone when you went to the smoke shop? Not the first time after I dropped her off. I was still without it. Uh, I got it. Got my phone and went back to the smoke shop. Um, okay. Later when I got home. And then I also noticed, I was checking your call history. I noticed that you don't have anything before this morning. Is that unusual on your phone? Uh, no, it's it's a new phone. I, stupid. I went to do an update yesterday morning, um, and I don't know what the fuck. So, pardon me. Um, I don't know what the heck I did, but somehow during the massive OS update, I managed to factory reset my phone. And lose all of my contacts, all my information. Mm -hmm. What time was that? Do you remember? Oh, sometime while I was hanging out with her, I looked at her and said, "What? What did I just do?" Okay. Um, she might know better. I don't know what time it was. It was when I was here with. Okay. I don't think I have any other questions. Uh, do you lose? I don't know where my head was yesterday. It was so far up my backside. That's okay. We understand. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for all this to get sorted out, I am going to hold on to your phone, okay? Um, I'll give it back to you when we're done. Okay. Okay? Do you have any questions for us? Um, how long are you going to need my phone? That's. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm waiting for my supervisor yeah, to call me. My dad. No, it's just my dad's using that to get a hold of me and get updates. Yeah, they can so. call Jen's phone. Okay. Did the other detective give you his business card? Um, I believe so. Okay, well, here's mine in case you want it for any reason. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you swear that everything you told us is true? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. I know it's a little hectic right now. Hmm. <sighs> And then I know you were about to head somewhere. If you can just hang tight and refrain from going back in your car, please. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I was actually going to move it over a spot. No, just leave it so. here. It's fine. Thank you.